everyone and welcome to day two in the Cotswolds. So we haven't long woke up and we're just getting ready to go to breakfast. So I thought I'd do a quick get ready with me. Yesterday was lovely, we went and did Borton on the water. Um, it was super busy because it's obviously bank holiday weekend. But um, it was really lovely and we really enjoyed and we had an amazing meal last night in the hotel we're staying in, which is the Lord of the Manor. So I'll leave that link below for you. And um, yeah, so I'm just about to get ready. Okay, the lighting is much better over here by the window. Boughton on the water was absolutely amazing yesterday. It was so busy though. It was hard to kind of see everything for its like beauty, if that makes sense. It was just honestly heaving there. So we're making our way to Stowe on the Wall today. And then we are actually going to the Cotswold Safari, which we've been recommended by a friend. So I'm excited for that. We were gonna go to Bista Village, but we're gonna leave that for later on in the year, I think. I'll make that a day trip. I really like it there. It's not that far. Well, it's about an hour, I think, from here. So, yeah. We didn't really fancy doing more shopping. It's nice to do some touristy things for a change. So I'm just taking my hula. I have actually brought my Chanel bronzer now. So I've got a new one. I just haven't opened it yet. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you've been to the Cotswolds and if there's anything you'd recommend or wherever your favourite place is. The food last night at um, the restaurant was absolutely amazing. It was honestly so good. And to be fair, the prices were actually quite reasonable. Um, hang on, any more lipstick? If you watch my new H&M back to the office kind of haul, you'll see that I kept this bag. This is my favourite lipstick in Desert Rose by number seven. Take in some of my NARS blusher. of wonder brow you'd be pleased to find me know I've actually ordered my Canon G7X Mark II camera battery so hopefully that's going to be there when I arrive home so next week's video or the week after next will finally be filmed on my camera so obviously at the moment, because I can't see myself in a viewfinder, I'm using the front iPhone 8 Plus camera. So I'm assuming the quality is not going to be that great on this section of the video. So I'm sorry about that. This was just my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper, which I swear by. And then I'm just going to put a bit of satin powder. I find it holds my makeup really well, especially in the humid weather we've been having. I normally do this after foundation and before my brusher, uh, blusher and bronzer, but I forgot. better I find than the MAC satin powder. This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just using an Aldi um, beauty blender which I really need a new one or, and I need to wash this one. And then I'm going to take my mascara which is the full 360 from number 7 which if you've watched all my other videos you know I don't like. <laughs> Once I've done this I'll show you my outfit. 
I'm wearing I kind of done my makeup a bit backwards now so sorry just using a big fluffy brush to wipe the powder away <laughs> There's my finished look. And I'm going to spray my current favourite perfume, which is the Idol by Lancome. Probably way too much, but it's so nice. I don't know whether to wear this headband or not. It kind of gives me a bit of a pressure headache. Do you get that when you wear a headband? So I'm going to show you my outfit of the day. So the only full length mirror here is this one and it's kind of got panelling on it but this is my dress from Zara, it's um, a Bambi for a Disney print and I absolutely love it, it was only 29.99. I did buy it at the beginning of the year so I don't think it's available still but I think they have the blouse version and I've just popped it on with my River Island belt and I'm going to pop my Dr Martens on. And yeah, it's got shoulder pads, these buttons, a mandarin collar, cuff sleeves, and it's just so, ooh, nearly fell backwards. It's just so floaty. And I've put it on with a pair of tights because the weather is a little bit colder, especially when you're walking around exploring. So yeah, that's my outfit. And I'm just gonna pop the rest of it on. <laughs> Thank you.